Yes, people, welcome back to the DraftKings podcast. We're back in Kent's hottest nightclub, Moomoo's. Today, we've got an internal for you. We've asked the general public, our Instagram followers, their worst dating stories. So we're going to get stuck into it. But before we do, Yosef has some stuff to say. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you want to... Well, I don't know what I need to do. <laughs> Can you in general public? <laughs> <You're> general public. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Anyway, settle down, <laughs> settle down. <laughs> Listen, right. So before no, we get mate. into it, we will we will dive into this straight away. But Fuck I just want to I just want to get you guys. We've just started a new channel called GraphKings <laughs> at GraphKings on Instagram. It's GraphKings TV because we couldn't get the handle. Link in description. Can you please subscribe to our new channel as well as this one? If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button below. There was massive favors. But yeah, we're starting a new channel. Well, we've started a new channel. Uh, going out to the street, asking the general public basically this kind of the conversations we have on here. And we're also going to do a little bit more vlog style trips. We've all just booked Thailand for New Year. The Graph Kings are going to Thailand. So we're going to get make sure we get a lot of footage out there. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot a lot planned. A lot of big goals and dreams and plans. And we're putting them into place and action. So we're very excited. Pigeon steps always slowly going there. Yeah, exactly that. Um, so yeah, like Merck said, we asked the general public. General public. General public. Uh, worst dating stories. So who wants to kick us off, boys? Oh dear! Um, <laughs> you just creased that one earlier. I think oh. that's like one of the back pages. Why don't you do one of these ones because they're like more in blocks? There's one I don't want you lot to read because I was meant to cut it out, but Ash cut that out. Keep that in. Come, please read this one. Huh? Read this one. That one. Yeah. Is that the one you're laughing at? Yeah, this is the one I was creasing at. Okay. Yeah, I read all. That. I haven't read. It. I haven't read it all. You're gonna be able to read it all. Yeah, I'll try. Okay, go. Uh, um, so uh, we're not exposing names, so we won't say who it is. Yeah, it's a bit of a long-winded story, but it's funny. So this person's written, "Hi, boys, just responding to." Oh no, sorry, that's the top bit. This is a story. It's not entirely a date. It was just meant to be a one-off shag. I turned up to her house and she looked out like her photos, built like Brock, Len Brock Lensler, wearing nothing but our heli. Where where's a heli Nat Hansen? A heli Hansen hoodie, hoodie and knickers. <laughs> 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 and then to top it off she and her she had three little cousins running around the living room my phone was dead i didn't know how to get home so i charged my phone pretended to make a phone call sprinted past the living room window to my car sped off in the direction of the m1 <laughs> this was this what this one again was a shag that i met la this last she'd done a 10-hour shift uh, at bmn bnn bnn no. ended up shagging in a car park nearby and all i could smell was bnm almost disco men <laughs> oh, Say, yeah, yo, yo, what did that remind you of? Hey, are you talking about a uh, chicken girl? <laughs> <laughs> I remember we don't know who chicken girl. Oh, God, I'll let you in. So, Mason used to talk to this girl again. We're not exposing no names. This is years ago. I'm cool. talking plus 10 plus, yeah, maybe 10 plus years. 10 plus, yeah. And Mason was um chopping this bird, and uh, I was like, Oh, how are you getting on with so and so? And he was like, Oh, do you know what, bro? I don't really know if I'm feeling it. I was like, Why? She's a nice girl. What's, what's, what's up with her? He goes, yeah, but bruv, she works at like, where was it, Kids Zone? Yeah, like Kids like kid Street, wasn't it? Kids Street, you know, like the play centers, kids go to with ball pits and yeah. slides and that. He goes, and like, she works behind the chicken section and she just smells a greasy chicken all the time. And I just can't be <laughs> dealing with it, bruv. And I was f***ing I was like, you taking a piss? He goes, it just puts me off. And like, she's been around greasy chicken all day and then she comes around my ass. I'm like, I'm <laughs> You know when you walk into like, those kid playground things, you open that door and it just smells like cheesy yeah. foot. Yeah. <laughs> all like musty and that smell jamming them. She'd come from there to mine. I think you're that's dirty, bro. I'm joking. Not sorry, but just the smell put me off. She leave shower and she's gone back to yours or not? Yeah, I don't think she, I, I don't think she even smelled. He was just being picky. You know the clothes oh. and all that are just being. It's, like, the, you know it's that, the thought of that she's just frying up the chicken. Yeah, man, snotty so. kids and that all day oh. and all that. Like, I'm and all spitting all over and all that. No, thank you. <laughs> that's a that's a breeding ground for infection. Yeah, places, do you know what I mean? So. That's where kids build up the immunities, I suppose. Being around all that. Yeah, yeah, man, imagine how dirty they get, bro. In place of filth. Right, who's going next? I've never beaten worse things as a kid or as an adult. <laughs> Why is him wearing that? <laughs> Why is him wearing that? <laughs> um, I, hope, I hope people can't see the names on it, bro. No, no, no they no, can't. We did look last time. We looked last time. Go All on, right, um, okay, fine. I've not even read this one yet, to be fair. So let's see how it pans out. Invited a chick to mine during lockdown, cooked a serious bit of grub and got some wine in. It wasn't until a few hours later when things started heating up in the bedroom that she dropped the trans bomb. <laughs> Oh, wow. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't have been able to tell. After giving he, she a grilling for catfishing me, I told her that he, she's got to go. <laughs> Next morning, after a roasting from my flatmate, I went to put my watch on and the cheeky fella stolen it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Whose friend is that? <laughs> oh, that oh, <laughs> Whose friend is that? It's in a request. It's oh, no. Nice. It's none of our friends. The cheeky fella. <laughs> the cheeky fella stolen it. Oh, we didn't know. Oh. No, listen, mate. listen. I've been there. I will not oh, be, I've man. not been there. You funny, I've, mate. I've been in these situations before, and they're get, the surgeons are getting good. Do you know what? I'll be honest. Oh. I think I was speaking, speaking to a he, she. Yeah. And I didn't realise, but then someone from he, she's area was like, you know that that's a bloke. And I was like, you what? <laughs> and the worst part is, I think I sent the picture to all of you lot as well. And everyone's like, yeah, she's banging. Oh. <laughs> it's the, the surgeons are getting good. We've yeah. got to be careful. We've got to be, be very careful out there, boys. But how do you ask? Do you know what, though? There's Get some out. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get cancelled. <laughs> We're gonna get cancelled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, mate. Oh, we're going to Thailand in December, so. Oh. That's not what I was getting at, mate. For fuck's sake. Whoa. Oh, and then, how, like. Okay, here, here you go. We can actually relate to this because me and Merck come up again. Right, should we talk? Can we fucking fool me into it? Actually, I can't. Mine was a girl. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Mine was a girl. <laughs> I can't actually this, I can't do this story. We got that it, it, I can't tell this story. I think it's on them to tell you, man. No, no, you no, no. can't like. But how have you gone to a geezer's house knowing? I mean, you, he might even have a bigger quarry than the ge in the him. Do you know might what I mean? have one. Might have been cut off. Oh yeah. All right. But even all right. Well, give yeah, it. You wouldn't have known then, would you? No, that's. Do you know what I mean, you wouldn't know. You go down and feed oh, it. And there's don't... nothing there. You'd be like, all right, it's, it's obviously a, very... a bird. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's, the surgeries are proper nowadays yeah. as well. You, you wouldn't even. But how can you go around there? No, like he's obviously. I mean, the, the heat that the person who is a trans has obviously still got a piece on him. How do you think? Why do you think that? <laughs> Why do you well, because that? otherwise, how would he have known? Why is he wearing that? Why is it? Is, still is that a real animal? Because, because he still had the bollocks to fucking have, did did have the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fair play. He had the bollocks to do it. Like he's obviously he's obviously then told him yeah by the way I've got like the cheek of it like I think that's bank like yeah I hundred percent agree that's not one hundred percent agree no listen, I, I don't care if you're f I, listen I don't care blue yellow black white yellow green eight legs I don't give a f what you are eight legs but. You can't be doing shit like that. You can't, no, you can't be not telling someone. Yeah, yeah you can't not tell them. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's yeah, not, yeah, not, yeah. Not, but that, then if they identify as a woman, then they, in their head they're a woman. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true, fine. Yeah. But you can still say I'm a woman, but I've got a quarry. But then like that's, that's don't make you a woman. I wouldn't. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. People out there would argue otherwise. I think in, I mean, in like you <laughs> look said. In process, how do I not get cancelled <laughs> in this next sentence? <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> It's true, it's true though, isn't it? You've got to say, like, I'm now I'm a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, you got it, but... I've still got the, the old... <laughs> even if you... Cherry Bay I think, uh, I think even, I can even tell... Even if you didn't, you would want to There's know. a story I can tell regarding this. It's really funny. I, I'm not going to give any settings of it because it would bait stuff up, but I was in a situation before. Merck was with me. We got told beforehand, potentially, this girl that I was talking to could potentially be a geezer or would have been a geezer. And I didn't know what to do, right? And I'm panicking. Anyway, we get invited up to their, oh, the brother, I don't know. Anyway, okay, I won't say what happened, but we went, we went with him somewhere. Tell them the process of what we did. Uh, so right, so I, <laughs> <laughs> sweating like that. <laughs> so I said to Merck, I was like, bruv, I've just been told that this person potentially might be a, a bloke. And he's like, or was a bloke. Got to tread so carefully because people have. Yeah, what, that's not, fine. They know what I mean. No, remember what happened last time on TikTok? Me and they come for us, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Um, and anyway, cut long story short, I was like, Merck, he said, don't worry, I'll go on the Instagram and I'll go back as far as I can to try and figure out if they are. We went back to, like, I think, got to 2018 and they were still female. And I was like, all right, okay, cool. But now the plant, the seed's planted in my head. I'm thinking, bro, I can't, I can't go through this if it's going to be like, if this is. So he was going, um, he was going, how big your feet then? Like, how big your feet? And she's like, size like four, five. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, all right, no worries. I went, oh, let me see how big your hands are. And I measure up my hands and just trying to figure out if she's got bigger hands than me. And then, um, and then I would have said, shake it, shake my hands. Shake, shake, it. Then, then, shake it. What? I'm not telling I'm not telling you know what? I'm not telling us this story. Why? I'm not doing it. It'll bait me up so bad. I'm not getting myself into trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can no. I say that? No, you can't say Is that. that. Too yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bleep, bleep, bleep that out. That's why I'm not, I'm bleeping it out. No, yeah. Like. But I was sat there trying to be like, oh, I can't even recover this, mate. My, my <laughs> and, oh. and then, anyway, no, wait, wait, it's one more part. And anyway, so I'm, um, oh, yeah, yeah, carry. You know what, Mason? You, good, good point. Take yeah. us, take us away from. Grab the yeah. neck, try and look for yeah. Adam's oh. apple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For fuck's sake. I did, I did. For I did. No, I was, you didn't. I was like that, and I was trying to find <laughs> to see if I could. <laughs> 
Did you I didn't eat anything? No, but I was doing it like sexually, like, you know, like grabbing oh. the necklace like, shit, mate. I thought while I'm here, I'll have a film oh, to see if, mate. I can, fuck, if I can feel the Adam's apple. And there was no Adam's apple. Fucking so. hell, man. Then. Turns out it was a woman, so. Happy days. Deep voice, so. Happy yeah. days. All right, well, then I, we Garlo. Were off on a tangent again. Garlo. Um, go on, Merck. Right, what we got? I just read one, man. Yeah, go on. Go I on. ain't going to lie. If that happened to me, bro, you're out. Read it. You're out. Read it. Went for dinner. This was, it's a geezer. Went for dinner. Come back to mine. She took a shit in my house and announced it. <laughs> <laughs> it depends how fit they are. No way, bruv. You're getting out, bruv. For real? Yeah, what, well, if you come down and announce it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I took a shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, just be fair. I don't what? mind if she takes a while. I'm thinking I know what she's doing. Did she's you care if that was your missus? No, I wouldn't care. No, it was my oh, no yeah, but I'd have to. I mean, yeah, I've got to be completely and utterly infatuated. If, if she's like a big six foot fucking. Well, why have you got around your ass in the first place? Just like that. Shit happens. Like <laughs> Mark doesn't discriminate. Si si <laughs> size eight and above. <laughs> if she's a petite little thing, just be like, oh, I took a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't worry about. It. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry oh, about no, it. No, I don't know. I just did that sort of. Yeah, I don't know. No, if you, if you announce it, man, then no, no way. I don't want to know about it. Girls don't even like saying they fart. They fart. Anyway, yeah, I know. Yeah, alone, actually, I actually need to right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> The worst thing is that the mics aren't going to pick that up. <laughs> you smelly fick. I had to go. I'm sorry. I've been We've said, it. when we first started this pod, no farting on pod. <laughs> oh, we'll beep it out then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mate. We'll beep the fart out. <laughs> Yeah, no. I'm sorry, it just oh. came. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. We need, sorry. And again, guys, we said it last time and we're terrible for it. We are, we're, we don't swear because we're illiterate. We are. We, like, we swear. Just because it's just our lingo. So please, we don't mean any offense by it. Um, we don't do it on purpose. It's not like, it, we literally just can't help it. Um, so yeah. We it's can't not, help it like we have an issue. <laughs> like, we can't, it is, it is just part of the lingo. Like we don't swear to mean for it to, why is that? Where, where'd that come from? That's mine. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's, he's not only farting on the pod, he's cleaning these teeth as we well. Don't, uh, yeah, we don't swear to like, in, in offense or anything like that. So please don't take it that way. I don't anyway. think anyone does, but our audience know who we are now. If you're if you're new around here, then yeah. But if, if you've been watching for a while, I don't think they. I don't think Go they on, care. boys. I've got a good one here. Go for it. We can relate to this as well. <laughs> she came <laughs> in with a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's a reason why this is fun. Indoor and explorer. So when we was when we done the pod in uh, in Wiki Woo, we met these girls around the pool, and. Uh, we was like, oh, there's our oh, come with us, and we went back to the room and that. And as I was going back to their room, <laughs> I said, oh, let me grab our bag, and I grab obviously the pod bag. You know, look, the pod bag is big industrial things. She went, what the fuck is that? I went, <laughs> I went it's, it's the pod bag from all my equipment. She went, all right, and like that. Looked to me like, a, <laughs> like, like a piece because it isn't stylish. It's a proper nerdy it backpack, is, isn't it? And I'm proper. and I'm flop. I'm walking up to her room with this <laughs> backpack on, mate. <laughs> Wasn't a good look, but yeah, I can relate to that. Right, what have I got? <laughs> We know this boy, me and Mason know this boy quite well. <clears throat> a good five, six years ago, I was messaging a girl for five hours. I met her later that evening for a Domino's. Turned out, I somehow been messaging the ugly mate and didn't even realize. Still slit over anyways, purely out of boredom. Don't know how I didn't clock onto that, I was messaging the right girl. I mean, it's only a DM, eh? So what? You, you get it, you, I, I get it, I know what's happened. So you thought he's messaging someone else? No, do you know when girls, some, some, Ugly girls. Girls, girls put their fit mate in their display picture with them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah before yeah, he was yeah, there. Yeah, 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 so he's been messaging it thinking it's that other one. Got there, it's not the right one. And he's like, oh, fuck it, I'll just do it anyway. Girls like just that. do that on dating profiles. Yeah, Tinder. All the time, Tinder, which one are you? You're yeah. on a dating profile. Why? You go through it. It's, it well, all, I've seen way back, I mean, I've not had a thing for like for the whole year now. I'll, I'll never have one again. But before that, you go and you flick through and it's like her and the same girl, every single photo. It's like, you, you're either really fit or you're a... Munter. Yeah. Made Made a comment her. Have a word there, no, but, but she's doing that on purpose. Yeah, of course she is. Of course. That's trickery. Again, yeah, it trickery. Be allowed. Yeah, it's trickery. trickery. 100 percent it's trickery. Trickery. But <laughs> that one's not funny. I think so. No. Not funny. No. It's not funny. Can we see one of these that you've got. Some of these are quite harsh as well, you know. Harsh in the sense of what? Someone said met a girl once who had hidden all her acne with makeup. She took it off and never spoke to her again. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, well. no, come on, man. <laughs> Don't be doing that to someone. She's over that. That's not fair, man. <clears throat> that's not well, fair. I don't like. like I, no, listen. I, I'm, no, no, no. Hear, hear from his point of view. Exactly what he's saying, though. Like, she hid it. He didn't like it. He never saw her again. It's not like he left her in Sainsbury's. 
Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? He's, it's yeah. not that bad. No, I don't know. It's not like he's been horrible to her. He's just not seen her again. Yeah, maybe. I think you're deep in it, mate. You're in your feels a bit. Maybe. Maybe, baby. It, it isn't that bad. If he done, if he done something horrible to her because she has acne, then it's a different story. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you can't help acne. Do you nah. know what I'm saying? And I know girls get very uh, insecure about shit like that as well. They do, yeah. Oh, I know who th this is one of my pals. <laughs> read it. Read, read it. it out. Oh dear God. Andrew. I went on a date. I went on a date with a guy who decided to make moo noises every time he ate a bit of his steak because he knew I was vegan. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Yeah. yeah I, I know who it is. For fuck's sake, mate. People Do you can imagine that being Ash might have to this out? Nah, it's not. It's who's, not. Who's a female wrote this? Who oh, I know. Yeah, I know who it is. Oh, he he would do something like that. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I could tell you about a time I went on a date with a Spanish guy. Agreed to fly to Santorini for our second date, <clears throat> then realized he's head to toe ick at the airport and had to spend a week with him in a villa, oh. dodging his advances. Or the guy who told me on the first date that he wants to set up expectations. He had a mid-sized dick, so I couldn't ex expect any miracles in the bedroom. He hates when girls make any sounds in the bedroom, so if I moan, he will lose his erection immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and he only does doggy in silence, <laughs> just to name a couple. <laughs> so this is my mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know who this what, is. Is this a female? Yeah, it's a female. Oh, God, what? Oh, moaning makes his erection go down. <laughs> Weird, mate. People are strange. Moaning makes my erection go up. Yeah, no, people are though. strange, yeah. man. Some people are dead silent when they have sex, though, aren't they? Don't you think, though? Like, if you are sleeping with a girl, she makes them zero noise. Like, am I doing something wrong? Yeah, yeah it's weird. As f I don't weird. expect you to scream down the no, fucking of course. balls, but like, if you're not saying something it's like is it not enough i don't have the capacity <laughs> <laughs> i don't have the facilities for that big man no i, I hear that yeah i don't I, I wouldn't enjoy um silent sex so. no. what's some of the weirdest things that someone's ever said to you during sex i'm not i'm, <laughs> not, I'm not gonna ask <laughs> i'm not gonna what? ask some of the weird things i know what you say Should I, tell you I can't say i can't say why not what you need it? to speak into the mic bro. not the side <laughs> of it what who done <laughs> the story you told me which i want it gentle <laughs> there was one girl there was one girl yeah we, we was having sex and then it, no matter what i did to her she kept going she just kept going gentle gentle <laughs> gentle gentle and i was like how gentle do you want me to go like i'm trying to bend you like a pretzel and then anything i did she's like gentle 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 and i was like like, like, <laughs> annoying. Fuck. Yeah. oh i can't say how, how long ago recent uh, I mean, recent enough. Are you packing wood that big, yeah, mate? Like... Well, I mean, <laughs> you'll have to find out. <laughs> Do you know, when I know what another girl said to me, though? Go on. I always said to her that this was, I was going to say this on pod one day. Obviously, I'll never expose <laughs> who it is. But it is, it is a friend. We ended up, like, sleeping together. Someone that follows you as well. Anyway, long story short, she's come to mine. And it's obviously kicking off. It's like, we're having sex. It's kicking off. It's kicking off. <laughs> we're, we're having it off, mate. I'm on top of her. And then she's called me by her fucking ex's name. No. Oh, I've had that happen. She's oh, uh, literally that. mid on top and I'm doing my thing. She's like, going, oh, like, let's just say his name's Ben. She's going, oh, Ben. And I just carried on. Like, I've opened my eyes. <laughs> like, I'm still doing the motion, going with it. And I just stopped and I went, did you just say another <laughs> man's name? She's like, I'm so sorry. And I just got off and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. I just didn't know. No, it was my place. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm going to leave it. I can be shit and I'm out. I couldn't believe it. Oh, I, hope I, you, I, I hope you booed her out. No, nah, I mean, look, listen, she's a lovely person, so I would never be horrible not, about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't think that's. She, I, I think she was with him so, for so long that she. Just, and I don't think she just cracks on with anyone. So remember, it's not it a might, one night. It's a one night yeah. thing. It's not like she was seeing him for a long time. Yeah, like, it's, I it's can the, appreciate that. Do you know what I mean? So like, I, I wasn't pissed off. I, I did lose my. I don't know, think about it, she was on the other foot and you're like, oh, her name was Kate. You mate, went, yeah. oh, Stacey. Yeah, maybe they would have get pissed off. I ain't going to get pissed off. I don't think no I ever say girls. Just say you're hearing stuff. Oh, I do. And you know? <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> you gas, hear this guy. I'll gaslight him. <laughs> <laughs> you're hearing what, things. What he He's like, I'll gaslight him and say you're hearing things. <laughs> 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 I didn't say that. What's going on, guys? Big love to everyone who showed us love so far. If you haven't already, as you know, we're trying to grow our channel. So if you can like and subscribe, it would mean the world to us. So yeah, let's get back to the show. <laughs> That didn't bother me that much. I just got anti-climax. But well, you don't say you don't say their name. I don't know, mate. So I don't really think about it. I said, "Go on, kill. Oh, go on, kill. Go on, kill." What do I say? <laughs> I don't know what I say. I say some. Fuck I know what you say. I say some.
of stuff. You make it, made it sound gay, bruv. <laughs> no, you just took it gay. <laughs> you just took it gay. No, you went, I know what you say. I do know I what you say. I know you've been in situations when I've been there while I've been active with a female. But you, right, the way, there you go then. Well, you didn't say it. No, like, you just you? took it, yeah. You didn't People say would like, not have thought it that what, way. What would he say? Go on. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the magician never reveals his tricks. Mm. Mm. Never. Mm. Go on, boy. Go on, boy. Um... <laughs> 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 oh, we need to get away from this conversation oh, now. Marcus, what you got for me? Okay. This is a mate of mine, actually. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It was completely buckled. Me and my mate had Magnum Belvedere for two of us and was cobbled up. I don't know what that means. Anyway, apparently we went into Mayfair for an afters and couldn't find it. I'd never got an Uber before and only had cash on me. So she ended up putting a card on my Uber app and I ended up using it next day all around London. <laughs> and she paid for it, got a text message saying, can you delete my card off your Uber? <laughs> fair play. <laughs> no, fair play. No, I've got a lot of time for that. What, who's this? He's, yeah. he's a good no, chap. Good guy. Good guy. Well done, mate. I, 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 I'm a big fan of your work. <laughs> big fan. Why don't we tell some of our dating stories? Uh, yeah, yeah, go on. I, I, do you know what, boys? I've never really had. I've never had a bad date. A bad date? I've never I've had gone a on a date where I've gone, okay, I don't ever want to see this boat again, just because there weren't a the right vibe there. But it wasn't a bad date. It's yeah. just like, it just weren't there. But we've both said it. I'm like, look, I think you're lovely, but. I've never even had that. Oh, I've, had that. I've never had a bad date. Ever. It's not a bad date. It's just, I think, I was I'm just trying like, to mm. think. I've had a situation like Aussie um, where I was seeing this girl about two years ago. Uh, and do you know what? She was so hot. Hot, hot bird, lovely girl, come from a good home and that. Chopping it for a while. <clears throat> anyway, we've just drifted apart a bit. She then ended up getting a fella. And then uh, one day I was just thinking, I wonder where she's gone. So I searched her name and she, she's disappeared. But obviously I've got my fitness account. I've got the graphics account and loads of other accounts. And I, was look, I looked at her and I was thinking... This bitch has blocked me. Like, why has she blocked me? Well, I've done nothing wrong. We fit. We didn't. We ended amicable. It was no no toxic yeah, yeah. between us. I was well bare, <clears throat> bare spun out by it. I didn't really care too much, but I was thinking, why? Why have you blocked me? Anyway, <laughs> was out one night. I was. I think I was with you, and uh, I see her there, and she's she smiled and said hello like nothing happened. Who is, I went, this? Who is this? I can't. No. Oh, anyway, cool. anyway, so I was like. Um, I was like, what, what, why are you saying hello to me? She went, what do you mean? I went, well, you blocked me. She goes, I, I, I couldn't follow you anymore. I went, why not? She goes, oh, my boyfriend, me and, me and him had a massive argument about you. I went, I don't even know who your boyfriend is. What are you on about? She goes, yeah, but it got complicated. I went, well, what happened? She goes, oh, well, I was on holiday with him and I was having sex with him. I said, your name. I was like, oh, oh f sake. And, and then I apparently he was like, who the f this guy, who's if showed Who's him. Venice? Who's Venice, huh? Who? 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 <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, that's that's that's, uh, that's again, it's not really my story, it's more her story, but yeah, I, I don't really have any. I've never, yeah, I've not really had. Let's flip it then. Well, how about what do you reckon on the first date if a girl comes back and she goes over straight away? What's your honest opinion about well, it? Oh. Okay, I'll give you my honest mm. opinion. I've got an honest opinion, right? So, does this girl think you're going to be her boyfriend? I guess it depends. If if the if you've not set the expectation from the get go that you want a relationship or don't want a relationship, which I pretty much do, pretty much nearly every girl I have an account with knows that I'm not really looking for a relationship right now. That's just literally where my headspace is at. If they then agree to go on a date with me, what we're, we're not, not going to be friends. Do you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not taking you out to and play a bit of tennis on the weekend, and I'm we're going out to see if there's any sexual chemistry, and then. Get get to business. Jump. Yeah. That, why else? Why else? I've got to say, I'll never judge a bird, bro. I've just you first time. So, hear me out. If that's if I'm if I took a da girl on a date and then she knows the expectation, then I don't really judge it. I'm like, well, we both we're both here for the same thing. However, if I'm then seeing a girl and I was actually was looking for a relationship and she did go over on the first night, then I, mean, I probably would. Would that put you off? I yeah, think it, it put me off. I think it put me off. If if I was looking for a relationship, I've um no, because I've, 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 I've have I hang on. I think it depends on the bird and the situation and yes. the night and what happens. Like, say if you went out for food, then you went somewhere else, then you end up. I've back slept with girls pretty quick and dated them for quite some time. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, when you know, you know type of thing. Yeah, like, man. When you know like, you want to date someone. I don't care. I don't judge them. Like, I know we always joke about when girls say, "Oh, you know, I've never done this before." I know some of the girls I've done that with, like, have never done that. Before. I still don't believe them. Do you know what I mean? I do not. I do not. I do not believe any of them. Girls are great liars. 100%. They're the best liars. Mm, yeah, I, I, I get that, but no, 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 no. Girls are impeccable liars. They should have qualifications in line. They're that good. They're, they're, they could bullshit a bullshitter. Yeah, I was speaking to a girl yesterday that was saying that as well. She's like, we are definitely better liars than you guys. Oh yeah, which for is, sure. Which is true. How many like, times? We're idiots. We, we do something, we get caught. Yeah, all the time, yeah. Women would take that yeah. shit.
Great. I was in a beta situation up with someone, but I'm not going to. Do it. Yeah, there's no. No, point. well, the context was this: this girl had told this guy that I know that she hadn't been active in any way, shape, or form. But I had inside information from someone that I knew that had gone through the bird like a week ago. Oh wow, it happens all the time. High end bird as well, like good bit. You gotta stay woke out here, boys. Like it's a it's a, it's a minefield out there. It, it, any girl that's telling you one thing, I take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah, hundred percent. Because don't completely put that in people's head though as in never no, never to believe them like do you know what I mean not never no, to just don't be naive and don't be naive yeah. Yeah. believe everything that someone says because just 9 times thought. out of 10 they're probably chatting shit not everyone has your best interest at heart yeah and they, they think that, remember if they're trying to win you over because remember, remember boys you're meant to be the trophy they're meant to try and win you over it's not the other way around really it should be the other way it should be they're trying to win you so they'll tell you anything they can to try and win you over whether that's I've only slept off two boys I haven't slept with anyone in a year whatever the want to try and feed you they'll try and feed you just to try and win you do you know what I'm saying you've got to do your CRB properly you've got to do your CRB properly and we've got a very good CRBR group I don't think any girl can slip through it unless they're like from a different country even then even then, even yeah. then. If, it's, yeah. if, it's if it's Europe we've got a CRB still but I mean mm. like I'm talking about like you meet like a a Brazilian I know, Brazilian that, bird in I know some girl mates some girl mates of ours that have been celibate for like almost a year bro. there's this girl that I'm friends with in America she's <clears> cushy as hell she's been celibate for about two years yeah and she's our age. I caught up with a few, couple of girls recently. I'll tell you afterwards that we know. Um, just catching up with them. Why don't you say those names? You can bleep it out. Just do that. Um, one of them. No way. One of them. She had been celibate for a year last time I saw her. So I don't believe the first one. A hundred percent. Trust me. I've been there loads of times. So have I, mate. I knew the, I knew the difference. So was I, mate. Yeah, no, I knew the difference. <laughs> But have I was you, like, wow, really? Yeah. Have you not been catfished before on a date? Well, you know we have. I've been catfished by a day. Yeah, day. No, day. no, no your, yours, yours was more kind of in person in, um, in a club in, in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I saying like, catfished. actually go on a, a date and get no. catfished. No. Yeah, I've, I've been catfished. I, I, I reckon I've been on maybe a dozen actual, maybe less, I reckon less, a dozen actual dates I agree, yeah. in I've, my I've, life. I've been I hit lot. number 10 about half a year ago a year ago yeah i've honestly no, I couldn't count i couldn't really count. Not with, i don't not really date no nah. really early 20s i was a serial I was date, a zero, a proper. So. but the thing is though i i actually i'm glad that i did that yeah, there's nothing wrong with it not, not, not that there is and it's not like right or wrong but i think i'm glad i done it because it it taught me a lot of like kind of what i like and what i don't mm -hmm. in women what i'm willing to tolerate tolerate what i'm willing not to so I think I, it's do you know what I, I love ways. dating? I don't do it often, and do you know why I, I don't, don't do it anymore? Do you know why I don't do it often? It's because my life's too busy to do it. Like, mm. I'd, it sounds really pathetic, but when you're not looking for a relationship, and you've got a social network like us boys do, like we're out, we're active, and now we're doing this and stuff, I don't really have time to do it. And it sounds shit. Well, if you like that person and you make time, well, that's a, that's the problem. I don't like anyone, so yeah. that's why I don't yeah. want to make time. Yeah. And the time I do make time to do it is because I do actually get a buzz of going for dates. Mm. I like I like meeting new girls. I like find out a bit about them. I like going out for a bit of nice food and some drinks and stuff. Just I just got to have something big, better, yeah, bit about yeah, them. Yeah, well, I, like, I like the experience of it all and I like, I like, I like having fun with them. And do you know what I'm saying? That, that's, yeah. the, that's the fun part of it. But I don't like doing loads of it because it's just- I like being the one to sit there and not say nothing for a lot, for the evening. I like just letting them talk, asking questions. I met a bird yeah. recently mm -hmm. like that. She she was so, so cushed in. Do you know we have really dark humor? Mm. I try and test the waters of dark humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I feel like if you don't get my humor, there's going to be an issue. Game, yeah. game over, isn't it? Yeah, so I always just I, I drop her. It's, it's a risky game because it can go the other way. What did you just say? Mm. Especially you make a joke. Yeah, if, I, if she's like that, then I know. That's that. exactly what I'm saying. But luckily yeah. every- girl that I've ever tried testing the walls with dark humor they've laughed it off because I don't mean anything by it. I'm only playing you know what I'm saying yeah but yeah I do um I do I do get a buzz off dating but I just don't do it I don't do it often because it's it's a bad use of time mm. and it's a bad use of money as no, well no my dating intentions changed in terms of before I would date because it was just trying to crack on mm. now if I'm dating I'm dating because I'm actually seeing if there's something there. yeah thank you so like when I was younger it was because let's be honest I wanted to have <laughs> sex right so I just thought if I, you, take you wanna, out, uh, if I go oh, for yeah. a drink that's what it's going to lead to now I could not give a about that mm. if i'm taking you out it's because i actually want to see if there's potentially something there yeah, i agree so like it's changed in respect to why i'm dating if that makes sense i just don't think our lives at the minute are um are built for that right now i think not just yeah. not in, no, in that what? mind place like it, it wouldn't be fair for anyone in our situation <clears throat> that we're in we're, like for anyone that's really busy or you're an entrepreneur and start, trying to start a business or a side hustle or working really hard and grinding in, in the gym or even if you are just working solely on yourself like it's not actually fair boys to and we're all guilty of it 
to actually then try and date someone and you know pretend that you can start seeing them and dating mm. them because you are just giving that person false hope yeah man. like proper that they're seeing something all of a sudden three months down the line or six months down the line you just you can't give them what they're looking for which is essentially 99 percent of your time yeah so don't, happened, don't, just don't do it. It happened to me real time with that Manchester girl. Seeing her for three or yeah, four months. She was months. lovely as well, wasn't lovely she? Lovely bird. Yeah. Perfect wifey material. The reason she didn't want to see me was purely because of just my journey's completely different to hers. Yeah. Like, it just didn't work. Yeah, but don't you think you would have carried on seeing her if she was closer by? She is all the way in Manchester. Yeah, maybe, but it was just... Plays a big part, bro. I've done long distance. I don't, think, I don't think this life, what, what we're building right now as well, you've got to understand. I was even speaking to Mason on the way down here. We all work full time. Yeah. Well, well some, some, of some, some of us don't have a job. <laughs> some of us don't have a job. But um, we all work full time. And I was saying to Mason and Danny, I want to try and push my fitness this year and stuff. Mm. But I'm struggling even to find time to do that. Yeah, Because I've got the pod, what we feel on, on, on one night of the week gone. Got the gym and the other nights, which I can sacrifice, which is fine. I can sacrifice it. But that is part of my other job. My fitness thing is my mm. gym. So I can't really sacrifice it too much. Then I've got edit reels. And then I've got my social life. And now we've got GraphKings TV. I get it. I, I completely agree. So where the hell am I going to dev devote time to a girl? Yeah, where? You know what they say though. You don't have time. You make time. I don't no, want to no, make time. But, but that's what I'm is, saying. Like, honestly, but but even us, even with that, bro, like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. not disagreeing. I'm just saying you could easily argue to say if we met someone today that ticked a lot of boxes and you f fell head over heels, would you at least try to compromise and try to do what you're doing and carry on seeing that person? If the compromise meant me giving up on my dreams and my goals, absolutely fucking no, no way. No, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying still carrying on. You couldn't carry, I can't couldn't carry on. I can't do it, can't do it. Can't can't do it. Do it. If, if you potentially could. I can't. Would you no, try? There, there is no potential. Would, there is no potential. Would, would you try? Where am I going to no, feel? Where, there isn't. She's with me because of who I am right this moment now. If I then give up my time, of doing all my stuff that's making me who I am, she will then fall out, uh, fall out of love Listen, with me. Listen, I agree. Like the thing is, I, we've we've all spoke about this between ourselves, and I said we don't have time for anything like that. But I'm no, just no. trying to, I'm just trying to kind of play devil's advocate exactly, and just see it. like, is there any, is there any way maybe if you met the right person, you would? Don't get me wrong, right. like, but I can't there, there wait are... to fall in love one day. I can't. I, I'm looking forward to it. And there is a girl out there who's one day going to obviously take my heart and take probably all of our hearts. And that's weird to even think that there's someone on this earth right now that's going to do that. I like that thought. Like. It's cool. It's Christian. Yeah, it's it's, cool, like, cool. it's yeah, like the cool, unknown. Cool. I like that. But that's why I like the pod as well because the pod's unknown. I don't know where it's going to take us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the same thing as meeting the girl. I do want that to happen one day. Mm. Bruv, I'm so... It's not the right time. I'm young as... 28. Hey, granddad. What I'm saying is, I feel like... We've, we've definitely said this on the pod before and I feel like there's a lot of social pressure from the world, social media, your parents society in general just tell you like you have to have your shit figured out and you need to oh if you don't find someone you're not, there's not gonna be no goals around if you are a guy that's keep looks after himself in a good financial situation or whatever it may be you're basically a high value male wherever that comes in the form of the way you look after your body the way if you go to the gym or your bank balance if you are a high value man there will always be women available for you always i don't feel like you need to rush because you know what ends up happening you rush these situations you end up with someone that's just meh okay you're not really in love with them you're just doing it to tick a box because you want to because there's help people telling you need to get a girlfriend and when you're gonna get a wife when you get a girlfriend and you end up getting divorced anyway or yet she ends up cheating on you because you're a loser because mm. you haven't you haven't pursued your dream if you pursued your dream you would have actually got the goal that wanted you for you and eventually but now she's going to leave your ass because you're not now a loser because you didn't pursue your dream and you didn't get to where you wanted to be it's a vicious cycle but people don't think long term they think short term i'm never ever going to settle to a girl until i'm where i need to be and i'm nowhere near where i want to be mm. amen like, to that it's gonna... yeah we're on a yeah. tangent but it was a good tangent I'm, I'm yeah. nowhere near and people and that's another thing as well people get the misconception they like we had a we had, well i won't go into it but no, you know i know what you're gonna say the message we had on like, sunday yeah yeah, yeah 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 and uh, like we let's, let's set that record straight okay okay let's set it straight i'm not going into depth no no no, 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 no you me, don't need to okay right so i would say 99.9 .9 of our dms are positive we had a semi-negative a negative a comment that was a kind of an indirect in our dm the other day it was random yeah and it kind of basically insinuated that us boys think we're ballers, think we've made it, think we're, we've got all our shit figured out. If you ever watched our first pod, we are far from figuring it out. We are, with, why do you, the reason why we started, we're, we're called the Graph Kings because we're grafting to where we want to get to because none of us are where we want to be in life. We're trying to better ourselves and on the journey. We're trying to share our story and inspire other people with the guests and with our own stories. And that's the reason why we started this. So I don't want anyone to get a misconception that we are, but we're not ball, we're not ballers. Far from it. So we don't live a bad life, but essentially we, yeah. we still work for the things that we do. We're not, it's not like we, 
We have to Borrow save money up from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we work for what we what we do, and by all means, we're going to enjoy it as much as we're going to graft as well. But yeah. we've never ever sat. On and don't get it wrong, people. Some mums, we're fucking skin. Like, do you know what I mean? But we look back at the month and we say, boys, look what we did, did that month. month yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, we went there, we went there, we went there, we went there. Like, these things cost money. Yeah, all right, you get to the end of the month, you've only got f quid left, so you've got f pound left. Like, but look what you did that yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you've been on holiday, we went that, that Saturday night, we went out that weekend again unplanned, we went to that restaurant, we went there, we there on Saturday, went to meet these people to catch up, went for lunch there. It's like, you're doing all this money and you f now, like, saving as well. Yeah, and trying Sti to save dough. Sticking money in, into an ice roll. Whatever else you do, everyone's got debts, everyone's got bills, everyone's got cars to pay, houses to pay for. We've got the pod to pay for. Like, just because you see us out, like, mo what I uh, mean, I've said this before, but most people spend their money on, shit. yeah, we don't, yeah, they might blow it in the fruity or down, then they might go and do 200 quid in the pub on a Friday night. Do you know I mean? We don't do that, we'll go and spend 200 quid on a meal somewhere on a Saturday night, there's a that's a that's or a Friday night, that's a really nice place, and it, so then it looks as though you're out there spending all this money. But it's not. Listen, you know it's I mean, we've got normal jobs. It's just social media as well. Yeah, like, man. What, but what you see is not yeah. what it is. We all work. We have jobs. Yeah. Monday I, to Friday. <laughs> Monday to Friday jobs. And, I, the, and also, I have a side hustle on the side. So that, that extra bit of income allows me to do other stuff. I'm still nowhere near where I want to be in life. So that, I just want to set the record straight while we're in. What, we're 24 episodes in? Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that, 24 episodes in. We are still very far from where we need to be and hopefully well we will we will look back on this one day and we'll laugh at these situations and go do you remember when we were speaking about that because none of us have made it yet so stay tuned because we are going to make it but it's just not right so, now and we uh, are. you know on that point as well people like we, we, we've we've said this previously before but just touching it briefly again like anyone out there i mean the messages we've been getting recently from people is, <laughs> is insane like how much we're, we're helping people which to us means fuck it you don't realize how much that gases us up that goes straight in the group chat no matter what time it is you go boys look like go and read that message go and listen to them voice notes yeah, that the thing Bob sent us the other day they mm. were like we're getting three four minute voice notes from people telling us about what we've done for them and how we've helped them and then they're telling us about their story and their life like anything that you're starting whether it's a project a business you, you've got people we know now now want to start a podcast start it like just go and do it and see what happens and make mistakes and learn along the way reach out to people like us and say what mistakes did you make do you know what i mean and we'll tell you what equipment have you got we'll tell you like we reach out to people we have people call us and say boys your thumbnails aren't great boys your titles aren't great cool so we'll sit and talk about right let's change that that's not working that's working and we get i mean if you look at our first thumbnails compared to now they're worlds apart but we still we still look at them like we still got so much to do on these thumbnails, boys. Yeah. Like, we still need to work on our titles. So, so any negative comment that you get, or anyone saying, "Oh, don't start that," that'll get you nowhere. Like, don't listen to them, basically, and cut that shit out of your life. And if you want to start something, just go and do it, man. There's never the right time for it, as well. Yeah. You just gotta take the plunge. Like that's the one thing I realize is like so many things I've thought about doing I have or I haven't done it's like oh I'll, I'll wait till I get this and I, so oh I need true. this or no do you know what just go for it and you just learn along the way mm -hmm. so true it's never the right time I mean look timing is everything but at the same time you wait too long someone else is just going to take over so just if, if there's something in your mind that you want to do make a little plan and just go for it not that we should be swearing because we said we're going to stop but, but we're passionate yeah. that's why you're swearing we met with two young boys very recently yeah yeah they are I think, but I think Nico's 21 and Yaz is 20. 22, I think. 22. Young boys, right? So they're a completely different d generation to us. Um, and they've got their own business. They've got their own clothing brand. And they're becoming very successful. And they are almost a decade younger than us. Yeah. Mm. And they are as switched on as we are now. Mm. They're like, so calculated and meticulous of everything they do. They're very... And I look at them, I'm like, these boys are inspirational as these kids yeah. are killing it this this early on in their life it's, it's inspiring to see like, it's inspiring a lot see. younger than us and it's inspiring i'm like these boys are doing bits and they said some real good things when we met like they reached out to us and we're, you know we're doing some business with them now because we believe in them we believe in their brand and, and vice versa and they still live at home and what have you and some of the things they were saying to us are like boys we still live at home so we want to make all the mistakes we can now starting yeah. this brand and yeah, like, they're saying like we have got no outgoings I yeah think they've got no like fight like cars or whatever it is so we've so all got this free cash when we do they get the free cash we just pump it back in i'm thinking you boys are so switched on yeah because they're not trying to live up with the joneses to get the the car on finance or the freshest club right they're they're, yeah. they're, they're being very strategic with their money mm -hmm. and that is very difficult i know how hard it is to do, to do that by the way because the social pressure you got from your peers you got girls when you're out in the club people around you you want to try and keep up with these people and that can then lead you into a spiral where you end up being a loser or you, or you think you're not good enough yeah you're yeah, you think you've not made it and you're 21 do you know what i mean 20 
No. And also, what one thing me and the boys age. have started realizing right now, and we'll be completely honest with it, that mindset has led all of us. Um, was, correct me if I'm speaking on behalf of you and I'm not doing it right, but that mindset has led all of us to becoming wage slaves. Yeah. We are all <laughs> s slaves to our wage, which is pissing us off because. We want to. We want to expand, and eventually, we want to. We want to do this full time, and I want to do my fitness full time. Was alongside this, uh, and but we can't because we we've now got a lifestyle that's built around how much we earn. So yeah. you you probably all in the same situation. You probably all got car finance, mortgages, phone bills, gym memberships, and your wage is fixed around them outgoings because you know how much you can spend each month. So you now are a slave to your wage. Which is, I know they're going to say, well, everyone is. Well, not, no, not everyone is. If you like, as, as, as cringy as it sounds and as cliche as it sounds, we are all stuck in the matrix. Because if you are dependent on your wage every month to get by and pay your bills, you are reliant on an income that's supplied by someone else. So therefore, you are a wage slave. And we're all guilty of it. I and mean, that's why we're trying to, we're trying to stop that. Amen. Have I spoke, yeah, yeah, have yeah, I said yeah, anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, oh, it's, it, it is true. It is true. Which is, is which is was weird. If you because we only deep this recently, we're thinking we mm. actually are stuck. Yeah, because we can't take the next leap because we need the income. If we ain't got the income, we can't. Like this equipment, all this shit, it's all paid for by our jobs and shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, That's right, yeah. if we didn't have this and our trips away and our content trips and our, all our camera equipment we bought for the, the other channel, paying ash, paying ash every. every do you know what I'm saying? Is that this shit's expensive. It's, it costs money, and we are now what it's like. That's what, anyway. We won't get. We, we're getting deep into it, but we now understand what we need to do to to yeah. rectify this and change it and that's what we're working towards next and hopefully this time next year we'll be in a completely yeah. different situation and we'll look back on this i'll clip this video <laughs> and then i'll i'll show i'll see what the situation but is also, also with that on the flip side it's not it's not like the end of the world to be a wage slave for a certain amount of time of like, course like, well, well look yeah. at us we're 28 this is that has got us to where we are yeah. now yeah absolutely I mean? so don't be like don't go out and be like i don't want to work do you know i mean you need to work to get money and maybe get to the point you want to be and then try and do it. don't Facts. just quit your job for no reason like I did. <laughs> <laughs> you won't have a job, you won't have any money. But yeah, don't be don't be scared of like working for someone else for a little while Definitely. and just like yeah, 100%. Because like money in is just money in. So yeah. it's, it's and you need that thing. money to springboard you into That's the right. next step. Look at it as a stepping stone. Because yeah. we need this money to fund this pod. We need this money to fund our beef for our RB yeah, for trip. We need sure. this we need this money we got from being a wage slave to go to our uh, to Thailand. So like don't get me wrong, I'm not saying quit your job or you shouldn't work for someone like just like Merck said, but you we you do need to think of maybe having an escape plan or something set up in place to maybe get you out if that's where your mind's at yeah. learn, so, a, learn a new skill something you know what another thing as well i just wanted to say, to say but I'm, I'm pretty sure the audience kind of will agree with me because it's it's our audience and our audience this to one tune into this to us but if you are happy working a nine to five monday to friday Some people are fair, there's nothing wrong with that fair play to you I'm, i'll take my hat off to you but it it, it just isn't for me yeah. it just isn't for me i think so. that's more of a now thing than it was before as well when you're younger i think not even I think like what everyone used to say what the normal thing was to do is to leave school go uni and then get a, a nine to five yeah. yeah nowadays because of social media and etc with the internet the, changed the, again. The, the content that's out there that you can kind of reach through YouTube etc I think a lot of people are more woke so a lot of people are waking up and realizing they don't they don't actually have to go and work from nine to five they could even go get something from wholesale sell it for a bit more money and just work for themselves so a lot of people are more woke now aren't they yeah so i think realization is the first point but then taking action is the second yeah 100%. have a plan before you do something don't just quit your job like merck said or like how he did and just um go out there and fight for it man yeah, you've got to start somewhere 100 percent. my first job was tesco's express that was my first job i left i, I went to i went from school to college I've done three different college courses i got kicked out of two of them because i'm a nightmare Started in Tesco, worked there for three years, stacking shelves, serving customers. That was my first job. I will come from, and another thing I want to say, another thing as well, one of my pod, none of us are played in poverty, by the way, or when, and because because there's the other aspect to that. We're not saying, oh, we've got no money and stuff like this, but at the same time, we've well, <laughs> <laughs> got nothing left. <laughs> but the point is, we've all come from humble beginnings. We've never, none of us have been in a situation where we've been given money on a plate and stuff. Do you know what I'm I saying? Wish. Like that, that is. I wish. No, you don't. Trust no, me. no, you're right. As you know what? Yeah, it's, right, it's, yeah, you're right, guys, it's character building. Yeah, you're right. This built us. Mm. Our, our upbringing built who we are today. Hundred percent. And then without that, you don't know the struggle. And Same what did what did um our boy say? He said, uh, "If you, I don't want to say his name, but if if you were born into money, you, you're most likely going to be miserable because you never enjoyed, you never knew what it was like to be poor." Yeah, yeah that's, right. yeah, that's what true. makes money enjoyable: being broke and looking back at yeah. it and being like, "Remember them days when we were broke." Well, we only said it the other week. We only said the other week, like with certain things that we do now. Like six years ago, we couldn't do that. Mm. But at I, that level, I, do you I, know what I mean? am nowhere near where I want to be, 
But if I look, if I, my 16 year old self was looking at me right now, he'd be so gassed. So gassed. Yeah, yeah, he'd be like, yeah. what? You're doing what? You go in there? You do, you're with these girls? Because like, you, this is all, this like, this only it's happened in the last like, let's say five to six years. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Less. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? This has only just started happening now. And, and, and I'm still nowhere where I want to be. But mm. my 16 year old self would be so proud. He'd be like, wow, you're living my dream, man. So I am proud of where I am, but yeah, I'm just nowhere near all I reckon I our 25 year old self would be proud of where we are now. Nah, 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 I'm not. No way. <laughs> No way. I thought I'd be I, I thought I'd be in a different financial situation right now. All right, okay. Same. Fair enough. But the thing is as well, you know what thing one thing we do need to um really think about as well. When we become successful and we will, when we make this a success, when we have kids, we need to be able to kind of structure their life in a way you don't So humble, man. Plate. Yes, people, thank you for making it this far. I know you guys are enjoying it because you're listening to me say this to you right now. So if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to us. Make them you so have to, humble. You have to kind of put them through. Like, for example, my dad is a successful man. He has multiple businesses, properties. He's done very well for himself. Like, I know, God forbid, when something happens to him, maybe there's going to be something there for me. However, I, I don't see that as like a safety net. It's not for me that doesn't excite me because I'm like, the way he showed me was even when he had the money was, I'm not giving you a penny. He, he would say, no, you have to work for it. You have to work to get to where I am. He's not the type of dad to just go, here's my, like, don't get me wrong, yeah. if I really needed something, if I was in a shit, he would help me. However, he's not been that type of dad to go, oh, here's a new whip, here's this, here's that. Go, like, he's never been like that. And I think that's taught me to go, well, obviously, you need to go you get it. You, exactly, you need to, like, you, you have to go get it done yourself. Yeah, man. He's not just going to give it to me. I think that's like, very Like some important. people's uh, fathers and mothers would do. So yeah, I yeah. think if you become successful when you have kids, you need to make sure that they don't just kind of see they need to understand build. the value yeah. of, of working for something and getting it if, even that, even if it's not money just like at home and stuff like that right go and clean the house go and hoover the whole house and but clean I get, that okay, I get satisfaction get hoovering I get like a do buzz now. Of it. yeah I do now we, we, we don't, we don't, yeah. anyway tangent random question sorry about that we went in deep with you all we then. went in very deep yeah. I, hope you, I don't know if you tell us if you guys like us going into deep with shit we, we had a lot to get on my chest yeah. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. anyone feel better yeah, yeah, everyone got psyched off their chest okay good therapy session on camera Look, the cameras are even rolling then. Was this off the back of that negative comment? Yeah. It's no, crazy. I, no, no, it didn't. It, it started. Was it? Yeah, it did. I think yeah. it was. I said, look, we went, let's address it. At least we changed it to a positive, but it's crazy. You get like a hundred good messages and it's a negative one. Yeah. It makes a limelight. You, like, it's, it's crazy how that kind of works when you think yeah, about man. it. Not to go in deep again, <laughs> but just don't focus on the negative, you know? No, just, no, yeah, yeah, never. Yeah, it's never, very never. easy to say, us to say it and take your own advice. But, 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 but when we first got it, was it, but block it, that's it, done. Yeah, block and delete we it. Need oh, to talk about it. Human, I, know, I know, I wanted to address everyone it. Everyone well. wants to, these all three wanted to address it. I was like, no, block it. Do not give it any I energy. I'm glad I didn't. No energy. You give these no energy, sorry. I'm not, you give them no energy. Yeah, I agree. Never. You don't feed it, ever. You feed, you feed it, it grows. You don't feed anything. Well, here's a question. Dating in the workplace or shagging in the workplace? Oh, I've done it every single place I've worked. I can't. If I speak up, if I speak up, be in big trouble. <laughs> uh, I, can't, sorry, I can't speak on that. But yeah, what about it? No, I'm just saying, would you do it? With, like, what's I, your thoughts I, on I it? I, I've done it. I don't know. I've, I've worked at the same place for five and a half years. I've never done it. Why not? Then I just don't think you should mix business and pleasure. It's not oh. business. It's someone else's business. It's not yours. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. I've done it. Depends if they're fit. I'll guarantee if they're the 10 10 world, you would have put it on. Uh, I've got some fit birds in my place. Uh, uh, do you know what? That I'm all so I'm so sound with all the girls in there. And it's probably because nothing's happened. Not that it goes sour afterwards, but do you know what I mean? I would just do it. I would have tried to chop them all. Yeah, same. I ain't gonna no. lie. Pokemon. Gotta chop them all. <laughs> <laughs> chop them all. <laughs> Is that your pipeline in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why would you do it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just think, I don't know. I don't need to. He's so trying, many to get, trying to get employee of the month. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm no. trying to get a chopper of the month. <laughs> so many birds, isn't it? Why a bird? Why, why a chopper bird? Well, you why not? I don't know. Merc can't relate because he only ever worked with his dad. <laughs> well, we can relate. <laughs> That's a lot. I've had like seven jobs, but I was at each one for like maybe a couple of weeks at a time. <laughs> well, why is that? You're not employable. Just no. I don't even. I don't know what it is, mate. I just didn't. I just if I didn't like the thing with me is if I don't like something, I leave. So I start a job, be there a week, I'll be like, I don't like it, I'm off. I've had that. I did it for like seven years, and then eventually my dad handed me. Maybe we we'll go into business with him. That's the longest I've stayed at a job. Do you know what? I've worked every... Oh, no, I had a back a, like a two-year break-ish from 16 to now. I think I had like two years where I didn't have a solid job. But I'll tell you one thing I can always say, and I always say this vocally at work. Since I've worked, I've never, ever taken a sick day. Ever? Ever. Since the age of 16, every time I've gone into a job, I've never taken a sick day. I've been at my current firm four years, never taken a sick day. My last day, job... 
What other day? The other day when someone when you got someone took a photo of your car. <laughs> that wasn't the other day. That was this morning. <laughs> I went a sick day. I had a lay in. Oh, well, technically, it's half a sick day. You've never taken day. a sick day. Never taken a sick day. I have. I have. Never taken. Never taken a sick day. I reckon, but, but I've literally in, in five and a half years. In five and a half years at my current firm, I reckon I've done about four. Was you actually ill though, or was it? No, yeah, I've been like fucking even severely hungover. Yeah. Or I've had like fucking <laughs> bad flu. Now, but I tell them now, I'm like, look, I'm fucking wrecked. I can't, I can't even get out of bed, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. different. You know I mean? if you're actually, oh, but if you're taking a sick day because you don't want to go to work, it's because well, you're no, not you're I think it's different as well. Like, you, both of you work for someone else, but me and Oz have kind of had our own businesses. Like, if I take a sick day, that place is not opening. Can't go. Yeah, yeah it's different. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm making no dough. That's the same as me. I'm in sales. So if I don't go to work, I don't get paid. There's mm. no sick days allowance. That's probably why I haven't had a sick day. No, no, I guess yeah, I still yeah. get paid. Do you? Yeah. Oh, if, if I was getting sick, pay, I'll be sick all the if time. I was get, yeah, same here. If I was oh, getting yeah, sick, no, pay, that. I'll be sick. Why not? It's the system. I'll have, be eating mold, one, mate. One, one, two a year? Uh, why not? Nah. I've only ever taken them in a oh, proper, proper, me. proper, proper ill. Oh, yeah, this good, girl beside yeah. my place, bro. She's been here like maybe a year. She's had 12 already. I feel sick. I feel sick. I feel sick. Go home and eat what's this all day and eat. Paracetamol, like Skittles. <laughs> I still have no water, just like that, it popping them. Like, yeah. I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, it does my nutting, mate, honestly. Why are girls always And they're always cold. <laughs> they're always cold as well, mate. Always fing cold. Because you've got nothing on. You've got nothing you on. Blow the speaker, mean? you idiot. And you come out with <laughs> fuck all, bruv. They're not wearing, wearing like a see through little top and looking like, oh, I'm freezing. You put your eating on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Get out. Oh, this fucking. You see girls out, I hate when I see girls out walking around and they're like this. And they're walking about like I'm like, why? Like, you come out the ass with nothing on, and you're walking around like that, holding yourself, you're freezing cold. I hate wearing a jumper. Put a jumper on. I hate as soon as I feel a bit of cold, man, I'm like, hoodie. I don't like on. wearing clothes. I hate wearing a jumper. I, hate, I don't like wearing clothes no. at all. If I could do this, not when I'm at home. At home, anywhere. I don't like wearing clothes. I hate it. I hate wearing clothes. Yeah, same. I hate I'm it. Not made when for I was it. in Bali and I got to live in shorts for five Three weeks. That was literally heaven for me. I, do, I say this all the time. And when we go to Thailand, I will not. You will not see me. Maybe the, if I have to wear a top to go into a restaurant, that's the only time you see me wearing a top. I will not Get wear a top. Off. Take your top off. <laughs> Take your top off. I don't like wearing clothes. I hate. To I just wear can't wait to see Merck with a backpack on his back. I can't believe these boys have made me go to Thailand. He's never left Europe. The that's amount crazy. Of, the amount of people that Isn't ask it? me, I'm talking I'm like, like I'm saying ex-girlfriend, friends, bird that I was seeing, let's go to Thailand. I'm like, nah, nah, I ain't going, I ain't going. I ain't going. These lot, they just ask me and I'm like, yeah, right. Well, you could not come because <laughs> it, the graphics are going now, so you have to come. No, I've always wanted to go. I just don't feel I could tolerate it with like anyone. With you lot, it'd be all right. We're going to get f***ed up. <laughs> Thailand's great, man. Thailand's amazing. So good. It's the best place ever. And these two haven't been, so they, it's, they, it's all new territory for them as well. It's one of the best places I've been. I'd say that comes close second. I think it would go for me, Bali, either Thailand or Tulum. I don't know which one I'd have first, but yeah, probably probably Thailand. It's that good. I'm not big yeah. to Tulum, but Thailand was unreal. Bali for me was just... Bali, I don't, I don't post. I know I don't want to put damper on all that. I don't think you ever top Bali. Nah, yeah. it's just the trip unless, itself. Unless we're rich. Yeah. It's the only way you're yeah. top. Even, I, not I mean, even then. I don't mean rich in Bali. I mean, if we ever become successful, oh, right, like, so you financially mean the trip successful, might beat it, yeah. The reason. If, no, when, when? When? Do you know why Bali was so good? I'll tell you why. Because the, it's the, the, the crowd as the, well. The crowd. There was 10 of us boys were best mates for, forever. And we were technically on paper millionaires out there. So, like, we had a driver. We had these fucking massive villas. You've seen the Bali vlog. We had chefs. It was so, yeah. it was nuts. And the only way you could replicate that in another country is if you was a millionaire and you could you could. I will if you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if we become rich, then you probably could top it. But I don't think you're going to top Bali until we're rich. Okay. Well, well, let's go to Thailand, and get that out of the way, then we'll crack on with Bali then. Yeah. So I mean, like with all these holidays that we got booked, girls, would you want to date boys that have got all these holidays booked? No. We've got Thailand booked. We've got our mate Stag doing our beef for next year. Then we've got his. Um, uh, next wedding, year, wedding next year we have wedding in in Santorini. Then we've got, then we're going LA and Vegas for Yo's brother's fortieth. Like, uh, where are you going to fit a bird's holiday in with that? Do you know what I mean? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't blame it's you. True though, isn't it? Mm. It's difficult. You know I mean? and that's that's not that's, was... that's without anything that we're there going to end up yeah. doing. Was... Do, you know, do you know? Let, let me go. I know we I know we're going off tangent, but I enjoy this. Do you know why you can't fit a girl's holiday in? Because you have a job. Oh, I see. Yeah, wow. If yeah. you didn't have none of us had jobs and we had income safe from this pod and we was all earning maybe five, six Gs each from the pod or from side hustles, whatever like that, you have time to do everything. Yeah, wow, that's very true. You can do two vacations a year, five lads' holidays a year, and still have time to have your business. The so only thing stopping you is being employed. So technically, what you've got to do is just build up your money. Yeah, build up your money, earn online business. online money. You need mm. online money. It's the only way you can escape this rut. 
Oh, well, how are you going to fit it in? Well, they don't quit your job. You don't quit your job, but <laughs> get out. Yeah, you are, yeah. We're stuck. You again. You're a wage slave. You're stuck in your job. You're stuck in the matrix. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to fit it in. You can't. Mess. You can't fit it in because your work won't let you fit it in because you ain't got mm. enough holiday to take off to go and do these holidays or enough money to go and fund all these holidays. Yeah, well, that's very true. Yeah, it's so true. That. You know what? I, when I was like looking at jobs just because I was bored, so I haven't got one. I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't said. Yeah, I was looking at them and it said like 21 days holiday, and I was like. 21 days holiday out of the whole year. I know. It makes oh, you think, don't it? It's a month. It's just you a month. You deep it, didn't you? And you're like, nah, that ain't a bit of me. So you look, before horrible, before, right? before I was like self-employed, well, I used to look at that and look at things like that. I think, oh, that's that's cool. Like 28 days and then they pay on six. And now the fact that I've been unemployed, unemployed? Sorry, self-employed for four years. When I've just had a look at myself, just to see what the hell's out there. I was just, what is what is benefit? Like, oh, you get lunch on Fridays. Yeah. Like, oh, what, you get snack box on Fridays. Like, there's like fruits on Fridays. Uh, I'm like, am I meant to get oh. excited off this? Mate, they're like pay, 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 paying people 22K a year. And it says like, start start at seven in the morning, finish at eight in the evening. I'm just oh, like- yeah. I won't get out of bed for cat. Are you right? Fridays, and I'm just like, is this meant to excite me? I know, like, business, some businesses, well, most businesses have just got no- Include no, no, actually just, have a culture because the people no. running it are dinosaurs and they yeah, live in their right. old, old, old that, ways. That is the number one reason why people leave a job as well. It's the people that they're working for. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's poor management. That's why I've got to say, that's why I've been in my firm for four years. The people I work with are just like they're like the boys. Mm. You've met some of them, yeah, yeah they're yeah. just so cushy. That's why, it's, it's, yeah, it's good. They're good people to work with. The environment does change everything. So you that's very important, it. actually, people, like especially for you youngsters out there. Like, not only do you want to do something that you're genuinely genuinely interested in like that's one thing i can say to you make sure you work for a business that you're genuinely interested and in, believe yeah. in the product or believe in what you're selling or and, you have a transferable skill from that job yeah mm -hmm. and but also make sure the people that work there are people that you get on with it doesn't have to be like i'm not saying only only stick to that because you have got to diverse yourself and and work with people that you might not hang around with normally because it teaches you a lot but mm. I, i've you know like i said i've been in my firm five and a half years now and i've got people in there that outside of that work they wouldn't be in my circle yeah, yeah. do you know what i mean they wouldn't be in our circle but i love them to bits and i go out of them all the time do you know I, mean? I go for dinners with them i go out drinks with them like they're some of them are like real genuine friends of mine um and i bought freddie back a hat from bali do you know what i mean like these are good pals of mine but they're from different worlds and it's taught me so much mm -hmm. like from the places they're from and how they brought up and their views and on politics and the world and religion and um, even their views on um, the way that, that they eat, like whether they're vegans and stuff like that. Like I sit and actually ask these people like, why are you like that? What mm. does it do for you? What are the benefits? So then I know, doesn't mean I have to agree with it, mm. but. Um, That's what I think a lot of people aren't nowadays. Important. They're not open-minded to other people's way of living. Yeah, yeah. I'm very open-minded to it. I might not agree same. with it. Yeah, I, wanna, I wanna learn about it. Make wanna, sure you're cultured. Yeah. You're cultured. Most people aren't. Culture, no, right? not at all. Most people are not cultured at all. And I feel like, Mason, would you say that being with someone that's half Moroccan has had an impact on how cultured you are? Food wise. Well, especially for well, you've had a massive impact on my life growing up. Do you know what I mean? With especially with your mum and dad and you. Like, I was the fussiest eater in the world. I wouldn't eat anything growing up. I was so fussy. Yo, I would just say, Mace, try it. Mace, try it. Mace, you'll like that. Mace, you won't like that. You won't like that. Now there's nothing you put in front of me. I don't yeah, know. No, you actually nothing. eat anything now. Don't you? Mad, isn't it? The reason why I was mentioning that is because I feel like. If you're from a predominantly just pure English background and yeah. you're only in English circles, I feel like mm. you're not exposed to other cultures or other uh, other ways of living. So you isolate yourself from it. So then you don't really know anything else. Yeah. So where you're where you're both Turkish, I'm half Moroccan, and obviously you now you're friends of a bunch of foreigners. You're, ex <laughs> you're, 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 you're you've probably unintentionally become cultured off the back yeah, of that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So you see it what's happening. People, do you know what most English people do? They go to an English destination when they go on holiday. Benidorm. Yeah, Benidorm. Yeah, Benidorm. Yeah. They go to hot England. I see Benidorm as hot England. It is very true though because I've my best mate, Sam, like, he's exactly the, exactly the same relationship you two got. His is why I'm Turkish, and he's it will come around mine and eat sunflower seeds now. Like English people don't eat that stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. a very Turkish well, thing. Mate, to I brought around Muslims over. Man. I brought yeah, like, like proper Muslim. Like I'm still. She's my auntie and stuff now. When I said I was with mum and aunt, mum and auntie the other night. Like I'm, I've been eating japatis since I was knee high to a grasshopper. Do you know what I mean? And, Mashallah. Like, trust me, bro. Mashallah. I remember being around Umi and Umba's house. I sit there with them, like they were my aunties and my mum's best friends. And they, they would have private lessons after school and teaching them how, on Arabic and how to read the Quran and stuff like that. I was, I was fascinated. Yeah. I, and I wish even at that age, that obviously didn't know then, but looking back now, I think if I'd have tuned in more, I could have learned to speak Arabic. But you, when, you, when you're a you know I mean? kid, you don't, your mind's not there. No, of course. Do you know what I'm saying? It depends on your, your product of your environment at the end of the day. You don't, you don't pick where you're born, where you are, where you, like, you know, the type of people that you're, you're growing up around, but you do have 
the power to be able to kind of control it after a certain age. So put yourself in situations where you are traveling and you're speaking to these types of people and that's how you will learn. Traveling is, yeah, sorry. If, I was just going to say like, if you're always fishing a pond then you'll never be able to kind of like, I don't know what that analogy is, but uh, you've you got to get out of your comfort zone and just get out there and try, mm. to start, and try to meet people. Otherwise you'll always be in the same circle and you'll never, you'll never be able to outgrow it. Traveling and, and this pod is accelerating it like this pod, the people that we've been exposed to and the, the connections we're going from it is absolutely crazy. Look at Saturday. Saturday. Sa was sorry, sorry, was Sunday. 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 Yeah, Sunday. Father's Day. Look at, look at Sunday. Mm. That's crazy. Some of the people we bumped into when we were there actually filming five hours. Yeah. Yeah. And we bumped crazy. into two very, very, very unique people. Yeah. And look what happened. Like just such weird interactions. That, but like really good, but just like yeah. what just happened? It's strange, you know? Like, it, what just but happened? it makes me excited because I'm now the, uh, I love the unknown. Like, we, yeah, we, so. who else we're we gonna yeah. meet? Wake up, you like what's gonna happen? We've just made yeah. like two really good connections yeah. out on Sunday, and they've invited us places that they've like one guy some mad chats invited us to do a, a podcast on his yacht. Yeah, in Dubai, in Dubai, and I followed this guy, Carl. I followed him for. I said I was like, boys, I, I, I started chatting. To Did us. he come up to us? Yeah, yeah, for the. So I was filming a thing. Where's, like, we, so where's like, he sorry. walking through? Carnaby. Yeah. Through Carnaby yeah. Street, yeah. And he's like, sorry, dude, how'd you do this? I said, oh, mate, I said, you're asking the wrong geezer here. I said, ask yo. And as he was chatting away, he took his glasses off and I was like, Carl, yeah? And he's like, yeah. Anyway, started chatting away and I've followed him for donkey's years. He throws really good exclusive events. Chatted away, went on Instagram. Said, oh, yeah, no, I recognize the face. But we helped him out with something. Yo helped him out with something and he come back. He brought us back a bottle of um, Ciroc. Truck, a bottle of yeah. fresh bottle of Ciroc. He was throwing a party nearby and he needed it for his videographer. We helped him out of it. And he come down, he gave us a bottle of Ciroc for nothing. He's like, yeah, boys. Right? And he messaged us saying, right, next party. Weird, you boys, like, you plus five, like, come through. Messaged us, comment, like, comment on our stuff. That's a that's a mad connection now. Like, we just hit it off of him as, as a vibe. It's like, crazy, man. It is. It's so true what they say. Your network is your net worth. And uh, it's not having an impact on our net worth right now, but I can definitely see all these connections eventually coming up, tying up, doing a full circle, and it changes the way. So well, because like, the amount of connection we've made just in this six months. Crazy. This ridiculous. has probably been the most productive six months of my life. 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's the busiest yeah. I've ever been. Be I've never been this busy in my life. I was on the way down and complained. Love it, though, didn't we? Swamped. Yeah. Yeah, well, I said you didn't. I was like, it's, oh, it's, it's good, good to be swamped. It's good, it's good to be swamped. I get, I get anxious when I'm not busy. Yeah. 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 I get all like a bit weird when I'm not. Like, yeah. If I, even if I like kind of like, have a lay in and wake up, I'm like, fuck, I've had a two hour well, like two, yeah. two hour lay in. I'm like, oh, no, I feel like shit. Like, I need to get As much as I love my sleep, when I do have a lay in, I always do feel guilty about it. Yeah. Mm, that's what I mean. Because at the time I usually get up, if I do, then on the off chance, have a lay in on a Saturday. I wake up and look at time, it's like half eight and I'm still in bed. I'm like, this. I like, don't mind eight. eight. When it gets past eight, I feel like now you've been a bit yeah, late. Yeah, get the fuck eight, eight for me is good. If I'm in bed, if I'm out of bed by eight, I'm happy. But if there's anything after that, I'm like, what have you done? Yeah, no. I I'll think we're like, honest, like, though, I don't, I don't miss waking up at like six, seven. I'm up that's that's every, different. Every though, that's no, no, no. Do, to work. I don't like waking up to an alarm. Mm, yeah. I want to get out of that as well. And the only alarms I like going off is when I've got to go to the airport. The airport, yeah, 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 the yeah, airport yeah, alarm yeah. hits different. It goes, and you're like, yes, go out of the boys again. Let's go. I love that alarm. But any other alarm, I can hate. Time is the most valuable thing, mate. That's the yeah. one commodity you will never ever get back. I know everyone's kind of chasing paper, but I personally rather work for myself, earn three, four grand a month, than earn 10, 15 grand a month and work for someone. I hear that. I, I, that's how I rather live it's my funny life. Funny you say that. Listen to this, yeah. So I said this to Mason not long ago. Where I work is sales, and is, I am quite well for where it is situated. I live it's in the, for people who don't know, it's in Kent. It's in a place called Rochester, which is about 40 minutes south of London. So, most people that earn quite well would have to travel into London. And I'm quite lucky that I earn a, probably a London wage outside of London. So I've always been, and it's right next to my house. And I said to everyone I work with, if I was offered 20 grand from another job in London, I wouldn't take it. 20 grand more. 20 grand extra a year. I'd say no, because the freedom, the time, and the relationships I've got with these people at work is not worth the extra 20 grand. Because yeah, right. 20 grand divided by 12 after tax, tax is cool, it's yeah. full. And Max. that freedom, like my worker, if, if you're on target, you can have gone have a year cut. If you're on target, you can finish early. You jump, there's so much freedom yeah, nice. that I wouldn't be able to get out of a job if I was working in London commuting. What? Commuting is like, what, two hours each Bro, way? What do you think? I leave, work. Yeah. I leave my house about half six, quarter to seven latest. And I walk through my office door about 10 to nine. Yeah. I drive up, yeah, walk, mad. train. So you're losing like, four hours of your day, which you're not getting paid for. 
So if someone offered me 20 grand extra than I earn an hour a year, I'd, I, I always said I would decline it. I would never yeah, take yeah, it. Not for 20 Gs. It'd have to be big, like 60, 70 Gs. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it depends, obviously, what you're doing. No one's going to really offer you that. But technically, the, more the, the point yeah, yeah. is don't just leave for money. Make sure you evaluate yeah, 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 why yeah. you're exactly taking that plunge and why you're changing before you do it. Because nine times out of 10, it doesn't mean just because you're getting more, more money that it's a better job. Yeah, 100%. You need to look at the culture, the people, like what they're offering and the, the Believe growth. Believe in it. Yeah, and the growth that you can kind of... Don't get me wrong. Like we're, we're talking about working for ourselves. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Again, if you want to work for yourself, uh, work for a company and they yeah, offer you like that, man. A, a, a nice, um, a nice wage and you've got lots of benefits with it, great culture. By all means, do that. Yeah. There's, people there's and, and, you, and you have a good people life. You have a good yeah, life. People have security, didn't they? Absolutely mm. nothing wrong with that. But if you are going to change, make sure you take all of that into consideration because you'll just end up like jumping around because. If once that door closes, you might not be able to go back. Mm, I always feel that my job. I said to Mason, uh, I told everyone at my work as well. This I want to make this job the last job I ever have. I never, ever, ever want a job after this job. Mm. When I leave this, this is me. I'm, I'm only working for myself ever again. Yeah. And the reason why I've chose this industry, sales, is because it's a very transferable skill. Yeah, that's it. It's when you know how to do, and I'm doing, yeah. I'm doing fucking cold sales. Really cold. Yeah. Like cold, cold, proper, bro. Is there's not Door one knocking, bro? There's not a warm. I have to walk into businesses. Oh wow! Introduce my services face to face to a company I don't even know. Say he's the owner, owner or whatever, and then try and build rapport for a phone call, bro. It's cold as shit. It's graft, mm. but it pays you healthy if you could. Yeah, yeah. It. And that's the trans and that interactions with meeting random people. When I first started, man, I was so nervous walking into mm. a building. And like, hi, I was, I was nervous because like, this Naturally. is a crucial door. Right. Do you know how daunting it is walking into an office and it's just, you open the door every head and every head just <laughs> yeah. stares at you. I mean, you're right, you're right, guys. And you just got to make, now I can just go, you're right, what's going on? I can now got the confidence to do it. Yeah. Four years ago when I started, bruv, that was daunting, especially with a lot of fit birds, bruv. Oh, yeah. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm all right around girls, but you open the door and you're in your suit and all these load of birds just look at you like, this is overwhelming man yeah and then you've got to do your pitch yeah mm. for character building though man exactly serious exactly and, you, and i was running a deep end i had to you got to hit target otherwise you lose your job sink or swim yeah, yeah. so it, it taught me a lot i now can walk into a room of people and just speak to anyone i don't care that's why back then it was hard and he calls me and he calls me the graph shrimp. king <laughs> that is exactly why <laughs> that's I'm, why you have a fresh i always thought why has this guy always got a fresh from because i'm always walking they, into offices and i want to grow a little bit you know what i get a car i get a car but glad you said it but boys i think we should wrap up yeah, that went deep. I don't know where that come from. That was, was the, everyone had a lot to get off our chest. Right? <laughs> that made me feel a lot better about myself. So I feel good. No, that was a really good pod. I actually enjoyed it. it didn't, we, we didn't stand, I think we stayed on tangent for probably about 30 minutes. And then the rest of it, I think we just went off into... Man, that's the beauty of our pods though. Look, we have yeah, obviously a structure of what we want to go by, but we're just being real on ourselves. Hence mm. why we just end up going to these little tangents. So yeah, if you don't like it, f*** you. But if you do, please <laughs> like, subscribe, and leave a comment <laughs> in the comment <laughs> section. Uh, fair enough. No, on a real, that's true. That, yeah. that is the beauty of this pod. That, Especially the internals. I love... Oh, wait, well, I said when we were set yeah. up tonight, I love internals. Yeah, that's it. And you get excited. Please. When we first started out, we was doing probably a little bit more internals. No, oh, no, I think it was quite... No, we, we weren't. No, but we're, we're now packed. Yeah. Like we now see this as like a, a day out for us now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because before, now we've got, we've got guests. We're booked up for the next, what, five, six weeks? Sound like that, yeah. And so yeah. when we do get space to do an internal, like we've got a dead week, we're actually buzzing. We're like, yeah. I can't wait to do an internal. I think we like. actually made space for this, you know? Did we? Yeah. I think we, we did, could, yeah. We could have not done it and got a guest yeah, in we could, Yeah, I think there's a couple of people that we could have had on. We're like, well, we've, mm. got, we've got to get an internal in, boys. Mm. We ain't done one since oh, yeah. Wow. It's like a therapy session. It's good. And, it, and, and you know what? It gives you insights to who we are as well. Like as we grow, mm. things are forever changing. It's uh, it's accelerating quicker and quicker e each month now, which is really good. And we're by the time you watch this, we will be on a thousand subs. Yeah. 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 Wow. We will be. I think a lot of people are asking are asking about us as well, though, what we do, et cetera. Now that we get a lot of messages like that, don't know. At some point, we'll probably have to, a year. not have to, we want to probably talk about ourselves too, but yeah. for the time being, we've got like a lot of people coming on, a lot of guests that are already lined up. So I, I suppose after those are kind of out of the way, maybe we can yeah, get Yeah, we, we gave a little of insight of what we do. We, we do. We'll give, we just gave you a little insight. We will go, I will do what, what like, I'll say what, about what, half a year, year time? I, no, I think what we said, when we get to our one year anniversary, one year anniversary, yeah. we'll drop it. We'll do an internal. How this started and, and about us. The journey, yeah, yeah the journey of where we started and uh, like Merck. Do you exactly know that like will that. be? That'll be two weeks after Thailand. Wow, oh, wow would it? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna film it. a pod in Thailand, by the way. We can't, we're not taking all the out of us, though. We're gonna do it on um, clippings. clippings, which won't be as good quality, but still got to do yeah. it. We've got to go to Thailand, we've got to do a pod. Yeah, we've got to be, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be sat on the beach, we're doing PP with sunglasses, sat on the beach pod. No, we'll do it on, on the beach, sat 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 on the
We'll, we'll do it on bean bags with the see yeah. behind us and we'll just on the joint. Bucket with a bucket. Yeah. Bucket me, and a joint. Me and you have already spoke about this. It is. Like, we're manifested like that. that, innit? We have. We actually have. Yeah, we'll get a pot out there. See you, lady boys. What? 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 Show me a cock. <laughs> 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 right, I'm ending it there. Right, listen, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave, a, leave comment a comment in the, the comment, comment section, section below. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next. Peace. Oh, peace.